after Michelle and normally after Paddy. Thank goodness I've beaten Paddy today because once Paddy speaks, give it, it's game over for everyone else. Because he's brilliant and Bob, and Bob, yeah, and you too, Bob. I just want to let everyone know here, uh, truly say this from my heart that I'm a friend of the MUA and have been a friend of the MUA, MUA in their previous two existences as the Siemens Union and the WWF. I go back to the Patrick's dispute of 1998 when I was down, first met Paddy on uh, Port Beach Road down there in Fremantle, mate, in a little caravan when you were running the blue down there and we were making sure our truckies had no intentions of not supporting the, the uh, waterside workers at the time. It was a fantastic dispute. We built a fantastic relationship. Ian Bray, good to see you, Ian, and, and of course, Mick, good to see you. To the workers, the members of the MUA and other unions here today, thank you so much for coming down and keeping this, this, this blue going. This blue's got a long, long way to go. When I sit back and I think of the way that these foreign workers have been treated, and let's talk about Australian jobs, shall we, just very quickly. With this government, Australian jobs, they make me want to vomit. Australian jobs, as long as you're not an Australian seafarer, as long as you're not an Australian engineer, as long as you're not an Australian cook on these boats, as long as you're not an Australian skipper or a master, it is sickening. One thing that when I listen to Elbow and my colleagues from the Labor Party, we will not give up. Every second of every minute of every day that we are blessed to be part of this nation's capital uh, here in, in the Parliament, we're going to continue to fight for Australian seafarers and all Australian jobs. The beauty going third, as most of it's been said, I just want to touch one thing. One thing I just want to reiterate, it makes me even sicker when I think to myself, when the coronial inquiry was going on over Captain Salas, as you know, and the Sage Sagittarius, when, the, when I was told I got a phone call from uh, um, um, a reporter up on the Sunshine State, while the coronial inquiry was going on, while this government spends hundreds of millions of dollars on black uniforms with gold pips, and I'm not having a crack at the hard work of men and women in Australian border force, but by crying out loud, we've got a convicted gun runner sailing into the port of Gladstone. They didn't even know he was here on our shores. We had them here in the inquiry. They looked at me as though I, as I was speaking another language. This is how much they care for Australian jobs when we've got this going on, while we've getting our men and our women, mainly our men on the MV Portland, dragged out of their bunks at night. What a disgraceful behaviour. I'm not going to go into any more sad stuff. It's good stuff. You've got one of the best unions that you could have. The most committed officials, apart from the TWU, CFMEU, AWU, but they're all good people. Oh, and the textile clothing footwear union, Michelle, I could never forget you. You're not a divorcer here too. So can I just say, Patty, and Ian, thank you so much. I do, I do value the friendship that I have with the MUA. I'm so blessed to be supported by the MUA. But crikey, I do feel absolutely lousy. When I walk back each night and I go home to my family and I think about those poor buggers that were dragged off that boat and every other poor Australian seafarer has had to watch their good paying Australian jobs go. We will continue to fight. I'm not weakening. I'm not getting too old for the blue. I'll blue every minute that I'm here. Thank you very much and good luck. Yeah.